Hello and welcome back to Core Finance. I'm Matt Brown. I'm joined by Craig Earlham, who is a senior analyst at Oanda, and this is the third and final video for the day. And we're looking at gold. Uh, I've got a chart here. Well, look, it was in favour. It's out of favour. Um, talk us through the chart. I mean, technically, this is quite an interesting chart. Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, what, one thing I like about gold is it does seem to move, broadly speaking, in these $50 clips. So you've got, you can see that we've got 1350 to the upside there where we ran into resistance. You've got 1300 which was the giveaway when we broke above there mm -hmm. uh, back in the end of August. We broke below 1300 which is another trigger. Again, 1250 below, that is the next support, and then 1200 below there. So I like the, the, way, the way it moves in these kind of $50 clips. Um, the, the thing to take away from this is quite clear. There's, there's two, there's two drivers here. One is risk appetite. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why we hit 13.58 is purely was purely the risk off trade. It was the safe haven flows, gold, your traditional safe haven. Um, the North Korea, US stuff. It seems to have softened a little bit. The, the rhetoric we're not seeing daily. Um, reports about Trump saying this, Kim Jong Un saying this. Um, there seems to have been, not, I wouldn't say some progress made, but softening, and that's obviously helped risk, up, risk appetite. That's why we're seeing US indices at record highs again. And it also seems to have, have hurt gold a little bit. We've had a little bit of a resurgence in a dollar, which was long overdue since the start of the year. Mm -hmm. It fell more than 10%. We're having a little bit of a bounce here. So that's also softening gold as well. The fact that we broke below that 1300 level suggests 1250 is possibly on the cards. And again, you can see momentum is clearly uh, to the downside right now. I don't think risk appetite is fully recovered, mm -hmm. so uh, 1,200 seems a little bit far-fetched at the moment. I think to hit 1,200, we do need to see a full resurgence in a dollar, not just the, the kind of dead cat bounce, which we're currently seeing at the minute. It doesn't have the kind of momentum uh, that you'd expect. Um, but we'll see how it goes to the end of the year, because nine months of uh, weakness in a dollar seems mm -hmm. a bit overstretched. So it really wouldn't surprise me if we saw the dollar recover to the end of the year. Um, at which point then potentially we could see these kind of 1200s but at the moment the fact that we've hit 1275 and it's 1350s seems quite decent and I think 1250 we could see further support again in the near term mm -hmm. um, and then maybe a little bit of consolidation around that area but we'll see how it trades at 1250. We've got the two moving averages around there as well, the 200 and 233 which will offer a little bit more support once again but like I say the, thing, the key takeaway here is that you've seen this gradual return of uh, risk appetite and unless we see a flare up again mm. then you'd expect it to remain below those 1300s. But it's interesting, um, do, you, do you think it will now drift back into this channel of the 1200, 1300 as we, we've seen before kind of bouncing around um, if the rhetoric does abate and, and we don't see anything coming out of North Korea it could again just fall back into that natural channel? That's where it looks like it's heading. We were there for the vast majority of the year. You can see really since March time we've been in that twelve, thirteen hundred dollar channel. It looks like it's staying there for now, but you, you, you never know. The, the unpredictability of Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, we can't say for sure if, it's, if this isn't going to flare up again. It really wouldn't surprise anyone, let's face it. And I think people are just taking advantage of this uh, period of calm for now. Um, so as long as that doesn't flare up again, then I think 12, 1300 is where we are going to stabilise once again. Fantastic. Craig, thank you very much for joining us on Core Finance today. Thank you.